found Mr. Tibbetts. Image seems to match personnel file. It didn't come through properly, though. Can you take a close-up? is on the way. Who did this to you? Carl Anderson. The torturer. Okay, take it easy. Do you know where he is now? Other man came to Carl away. Let me here to die. <laughs> Similar to the pesticide we found on the matchmaker's neck? An exact match. I've been running an analysis on those samples. It's azonphosmethyl and is class 1, highly toxic. Was previously used as an insecticide for all sorts of agricultural crops, now banned for domestic use, and can only be used commercially by permission. This particular formulation includes some other trace chemicals and can be matched to a brand name called Applewell. I've put in a contact to the company to see if we can get a purchaser's list. Apple well. Apples. Yes, as I said, it was used on all sorts of agricultural crops. Apples would be one of those. Yeah, the town of Briar's pretty rural. Any chances there's an apple orchard up there? I'll get right on it.
there are no currently licensed fruit orchards in the town or the surrounding countryside of Briar. But there was one once. Apple Seed Orchard, just outside of Briar on Route 4. In business for 40 years, but closed its doors just 10 years ago after a tremendous outbreak of apple maggots. The orchard never recovered. Curious, though. County deeds show it's owned by an out-of-state real estate firm. So why are you in on this? I have uh, a sense of responsibility. I needed to help. Help? You mean with my investigation? Yes, among other things. <laughs> there was a time I thought I was the best investigator the Bureau ever had. Now it seems they were interested in me for other reasons. What do you mean? I saw my file. 